Hello everyone, how are you? And I hope you will be fine. And I just set up Windows 10 virtual machines on the VMware workstation and I try to power on this device. And whenever I try to turn on this and the VMware workstation pop up an error that this whole support Intel VTX but Intel VTX is disabled or Intel VTX might be disabled if it has been disabled the BIOS firmware setting or the host. Host has will be power on cycle since changing this setting. And here are some predictions that from the VMware workstation side and might be possible that we will be useful for the users. And in this video, I am gonna show you how we can resolve this error. First of all, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please do consider a subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. And also please do like and comment below the video if you will like the video. For this purpose, to check that either virtualization is enabled or not enabled, then please then please go in the search bar and the type CMD and open here you have to type here the system info dot exe after fetching some information that will be displayed and you have to find the hyper-v requirement and the virtualization is enabled in firmware no here we have confirmed that the virtualization is not enabled in our system to enable the virtualization is our system it, uh, you have to go in the BIOS mode and to go in the BIOS mode you have to restart the system you have to restart the system PC and click the restart into the second menu of the BIOS the BIOS menu depending on the manufacturer of the motherboard might be possible that the, your setting will be changed but we are sure you that the setting will be same and you have to go in the security tab and I highlighted this system security and hit the enter here the second option you can see that the virtualization technology VTX is disabled and you have to change the enable and F10 to accept and save the setting and save the changes and click exit yes and now we are backed up after the save the setting in the BIOS and restart the PC and now here we will confirm that our problem is resolved or not so we will try to open the windows 10 and hit the power on button here you can see that the window is starting up and our problem is resolved and i hope this video will be beneficial for you and informative for you if you like the video then please do consider and subscribe my channel and hit the like button and comment below thank you so much